So I've noticed in my tutoring career that a lot of learners don't like Venn diagrams. Guess what guys, it's simply because when it was explained to you in class, you might have gotten a little confused and then you just lost hope. Once you start realizing how Venn diagrams work, it's so easy and they're actually pretty fun. So check this out. Here we have a survey that was done on a group of school learners. Now we just need to try and look for the different type of categories. So I can see they say TV, then they talk about rugby, then they talk about hockey, and then I just see hockey, rugby, TV the whole time. So there's three categories. That means that there are gonna be three circles within a big box because we're drawing a Venn diagram. And 99% of the time, the circles are all going to overlap. So I'm gonna draw three circles not like that, okay? Because if you had to draw the circles like this, it would mean that the, the this event here, let's say this is event A, would never be able to link up with event B or event C. So these two circles won't be able to connect to each other. So what I mean is the following, like that, okay? Now event A, we could for example call that television and then the other one would be rugby. And then the last one is hockey. Okay, so we'll put hockey down over here. Then what I'm gonna do is just highlight each circle. And now we just start filling things in. So the first thing they tell us is that 30 people watch rugby. Guys, that does not mean we go and put a 30 over there. The 30, remember TV is this whole green circle. So it means that this part, this part, this part, and this part should add up to 30. But we don't know how much must go in each part. So we can't use that value just yet. Next one, 35 play rugby. That does not mean 35 goes there. We don't know exactly where that 35, because this one plus this one plus this one plus this one should give us 35. So we can't do anything with that just yet. 40 play hockey, we can't do anything. 20 play hockey only. Now we're talking. Where would people who only play hockey? Well, that's over here, right? It's not overlapping any of the other circles. These people only play hockey they don't play tv and they don't or they don't watch tv and they don't play rugby whereas if i put the 20 over here now that 20 is inside the blue pink and green circle and that means that those people do all three okay so we've used this one five people do all three okay so we can put five over there five do none of the activities so they're gonna go on the outside they don't do hockey they do they don't do rugby they don't watch tv then 10 play hockey and watch TV. So 10 people play hockey and watch TV at the same time. So where does this hockey circle and the TV circle overlap? Well, if you had to look at the TV circle and the hockey circle, they would overlap in this part over here. Now they've told us that that part should add up to 10, but because we already have a five here, then 10 minus five is five, so we can put a five over there. Now we're starting to get somewhere because check this out. The blue circle is hockey and it's almost complete. We know that there are 40 people who play hockey in total. 20 of them are there, five of them are there, five of them are there, so that's already 30. So we can put a 10 over there. Oh, and I've just realized I forgot one of the steps out. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna add one more thing. Thought something was wrong for a second and then I looked over onto my page that I have and I'd left something out. So I've just added this piece at the bottom that eight people play rugby and watch TV. So where does rugby and TV intersect? Well, that's this part over here. And they've told us that that should be eight, which means that if this is already a five, then eight minus five is three. Now, TV is almost complete. We just need the last piece. And they told us that there are 30 people who watch TV. So that's five, this is already five, 10, 13. So that's 17 people would go over there. And then for rugby, they say there are 35 people. Well, that's already 10, 15, 18. So 17 people go over there. And that's it guys, that is how you complete a Venn diagram. So I really do hope that this video made sense to you and that you now feel more comfortable with Venn diagrams. I'm definitely going to add one or two more in the next lessons just to make sure that you guys have enough practice.